Freedom came today for more than 3,000 people. They were released from prison and halfway houses across the country under the First Step Act signed into law by the president last year. Mololengi has the story of one woman who is taking those precious first steps. It's impacted my life dramatically. I am, I'm home with my family and my children. It's given me a head start on restoring my life and my children's life. For nonviolent drug offenders like Nora Yahya, the new law is a new beginning, allowing some prisoners like her to be released early. It was it was just unreal to me. I was I was ecstatic about it. I was happy and um, I was ready. Yahya was 22 the first time she was sent to prison for her role in a marijuana dealing operation. Her daughter was just five years old. It was very challenging, and a lot of the programs um, at that time weren't geared towards release. After she served her sentence, she went to college, got a job. Then, just two years later, she relapsed and was sent back to prison for selling crack and powder cocaine. I just fell right back into the same stream of choices. I wanted to be released, but I had no preparations upon release. The new law is also designed to help inmates transition back into society. The largest group of released inmates are drug offenders. I've done 18 years totally of my life in prison. You're trying to do better this time. Yes, absolutely. I want to live. <laughs> Well, the new law aims to address racial disparities in the system, and it gives judges more discretion in sentencing. Still, advocates stress that inmates need even more resources to help them get back on their feet and transition into society. Nora. All right, Mola Lange, thank you very much.